What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today's video is informative to say the least. There's been some real changes in the wind over at Google and at YouTube and I'm sure that over the last few months you guys have heard about it. Recently, these changes have reached out and touched my black ass. Yes, the ad apocalypse is up on he. A few days ago, I was uploading videos. And well, during my uploading process, I got a pop-up on my YouTube page telling me that YouTube has made some changes and I need to review my videos to see which ones were marked suitable for ad revenue. And I was like, what the hell does this mean? It's not like I, you know, it's not like I'm a vulgar person or I talk about things that are not suitable for other people to hear. I'm not very controversial. And so lo and behold, I looked at my YouTube channel. And I went to my videos and you would not believe it but I swear to you over half of my videos have been marked not suitable for all advertisers with a yellow dollar sign and so what that means is until they've been reviewed uh, manually reviewed you have to request a manual review uh, from YouTube for someone to actually come and look at the video you you gain no ad revenue for those videos now this has hit me very, very hard. The, the first day I was initially, initially ready to walk away from YouTube. You know, I've got 1600 videos. I have a lot of work that I put in on this channel over the last few years. And I was so pissed off. I was really, really bothered by this, that an algorithm, a draconian algorithm would basically mark my entire, entire channel and all the work that I put in as not suitable for ad revenue or not suitable for all advertisers. And I felt like YouTube was trying to force me out. I felt like if I left YouTube, it'd be because of me, not because of YouTube. But this was kind of another situation. Now I felt like it was because of YouTube that I'm walking away from YouTube. One thing my dad always told me, who is a very wise man, not a perfect man, not by any stretch of the imagination, but a very wise man. He told me, if you don't know what to do, don't do anything. And I've heard that my entire life. Sometimes practicing stillness is a, is a good quality, patience. And so instead of just going ape shit and deleting my channel and just going on to Twitch or going on to VidMe, I waited. I sent YouTube a few uh, request, review requests. Uh, I went to my, my top rated videos and you know a lot of those were marked not suitable for all advertisers. And I was trying to figure out why, you know, a reaction video is not suitable for advertisers. It's, it's, it's funny. It's entertainment. People like it. And so, believe it or not, they reversed those decisions on probably about 10 or 15 videos. I'm still waiting for like the other 40 or 50 that I've had time to actually request reviews on. But I'm talking hundreds of videos. I'm talking over 800 videos they've done this to. And there's no clear sign as to why this was done what the algorithm picked up why they chose these videos even some of my daughter's videos from the nova knows best uh show have been flagged as not suitable for all advertisers which is unbelievable they flagged some of my reviews they flagged my review to odin spear they flagged my review to dishonored too and i was like what the hell is happening here so i was trying to figure it out anyway I'm going to be patient. I'm going to see, you know, a good friend of mine who's suffering the same type of backlash, Briar Rabbit, told me to hold off before I, I act brashly and, and see what happens and see if YouTube fixes this. Now, I've been online checking YouTube and on Twitter seeing if YouTube is talking about this. It seems to be a non-issue for YouTube. I don't know if they are secretly behind closed doors thinking of fixing the situation, but not on the outward it appears that they are completely oblivious to the pain that they're causing content creators you know some people actually do this for a living i don't i'm fortunate enough to have a great career uh and that takes care of my my family my needs and my children and everything that i do so youtube is just something that i do you know you know there's a little payback coming back from it but now that payback is pretty much gone and i was like wow now i have no real reason to to upload anymore but i i'm going to continue to upload but i'm also going to ask you guys to do something Yes, you, the person who, whose name I don't know. This YouTube channel functions through the support of my fan base, be it likes, be it subscribers, or be it donations. I do have a Patreon page, a Patreon page that doesn't have very much money coming through it. 
But if you guys would like to support my channel and keep me around a little bit longer and let me know that some of this work, not all of it, I know it's, some of it's been goofball stuff, but some of it's been really meaningful. I've put a lot of work in on a lot of these projects that some of it has in some way, shape or form brought entertainment to your life or, or showed you a new way of doing things. If you have a dollar, consider donating it to my Patreon. Consider becoming a patron and supporting my future endeavors on YouTube and in the creator space. I've worked for a long time, a hell of a long time, and I put in tons and tons of hours, days, weeks on this YouTube channel creating content that I enjoy making. But if YouTube is making it very hard for me to enjoy making it, hopefully you guys can give me another reason to enjoy making it. And if you can't, there's no reason to flag this video and say thumbs down, you're asking for, you beg, I'm not begging for anything. This is not a video where I'm begging you to give me money. If you can't do it, then by God, don't do it. Focus on what's important. Focus on taking care of yourself and your own responsibilities. But if you happen to be one of those few people that has an extra dollar a month, consider looking at my Patreon page. It would really help this channel and it would really help my morale now that YouTube has pretty much destroyed any financial gains that I have on my YouTube channel. I will keep you guys posted on what's going on here with this adpocalypse. Uh, hopefully YouTube comes around and doesn't do this to the people who basically built the base of what YouTube is. I can't believe it. I still can't believe that they actually flagged all of my videos as not suitable for all advertisers. You know, I'm talking about HBO Go and I'm talking about Amy Hennig. I'm talking about these, these subjects that are getting banned on YouTube. I can't believe it. It's just hard for me to believe. Anyway, that's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please give a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it and I understand probably why, please give a thumbs up. If you're able to support, go ahead. If not, support me with those thumbs up. I really appreciate either or. As always, thank you all so much for hanging out with me. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.